I want you to picture a candle. Now picture a flamethrower. They're both fire, they both produce heat, and they both produce light. But if you're trying to boil a pot of water, one of them will boil it in three minutes, the other one maybe in three weeks. And this is the problem with the LED mask market right now. We're being sold candles and then told to expect flamethrower results. Most home LED masks are essentially expensive Christmas lights. They glow, they look cool on Instagram, but they lack the one thing that actually changes biological tissue power density. If the light isn't intense enough to penetrate the skin barrier and hit the mitochondria in your cells with a specific joule count, you aren't doing skincare, you're just decorating your face. So today I am going to be talking about everything that I know about the Amiro Spectra LED mask. I've had my hands on this one for a month now. It boasts an energy density of 162 milliwatts per square centimeter. And if you don't speak nerd, let me translate, roughly five times stronger than the average mask that you see at Sephora. So, is it too much? Is it dangerous? Or is this finally the device that brings actual clinical grade photon power into your bathroom? Well, I guess we'll find out. So let's get technical immediately, because this is where the money is. In light therapy, the magic number is called irradiance. And this is how much light energy hits a specific area of your skin per second. Most popular flexible silicon masks sit somewhere between 20 and 30 milliwatts per centimeter square. And that's fine. It's gentle and it works, eventually, if you wear it for 20 minutes a day for a year solid. The Amiro Spectra hits 162 milliwatts per centimeter square, and this is a massive jump in class. It's why they claim visible results in seven days and not seven months. So let's talk about that power jump, because simply adding more electricity, it isn't the answer. If you just make a mask brighter, then you risk heat and discomfort. Amiro solved this with something called Fresnel Lens Technology. You're probably now sitting there thinking, Fresnel Lens? What the heck, TJ? More science? How can I explain a Fresnel Lens to you? Okay, I want you to think of a lighthouse. A lighthouse bulb isn't actually that huge, but the glass lens in front of it, it focuses at a beam so it travels for miles and miles across the ocean. In essence, the spectra applies the same physics, but to your face. This mask here has got 173 LED beads, but sitting on top of them are these specialized lenses. So instead of the light scattering outwards and wasting energy, which is what happens with many standard silicon masks, the Fresnel lenses, they focus the beams directly downward onto the skin with 98% uniformity. This means that you aren't getting hot spots and light spots and cold spots of shadow, but you're getting uniformed flood of energy that penetrates deep past the epidermis and is reaching the mitochondria in your cell. This is how they effectively achieve that 162 milliwatt figure without the mask feeling hot or heavy on the skin. And that is what I call pretty cool. Now usually high power comes with a trade-off, simplicity. Most high power panels only do red light or near infrared light. But Amiro has managed to stack five different wavelengths into this grid. We have red, blue, green, yellow, and infrared. But they don't make you guess which ones to use. They've literally programmed them into three clinical modes. Mode one, the purify mode, which uses blue, red, green, yellow, and infrared light. Now this is the kitchen sink mode, and it is designed for acne, oil control, and inflammation. The blue light, it kills the C. acneous bacteria. The green and yellow, well, it reduces redness and irritation, and the infrared, it speeds up the healing of the breakout. It's not just drying out the pimples, it's treating the crime scene. Mode two, the firm mode, which uses red and infrared. Now this is your bread and butter, it's the anti-aging engine, and it uses deep penetrating red 633 nanometer and infrared 850 nanometer to hit those fibroblasts. This stimulates collagen production and reduces fine lines because the power is so high, you only need five minutes. And then we have mode three, the glow mode, which uses yellow and red and infrared light. This mode is for the morning after. If you didn't sleep or if your skin looks gray or dull, the yellow light flushes the lymphatic system and reduces pigmentation. While the red, well, it wakes up the circulation. It's basically an instant gratification brightness fix. So, what does it feel like to strap a clinical grade floodlight to your head? Surprisingly comfortable. It weighs just 225 grams, which is lighter than it looks. 
It uses a soft silicon seal that sits against the face. Instead of having those uncomfortable elasticated straps that Velcro around the head, it has silicon arms built in like you have with a pair of sunshades or reading glasses. And tied in with all of these amazing features, it also has blackout eye protection. When you're dealing with the 162 milliwatts per centimeter square, you don't really want to have that light leaking into your retina because you know, not ideal. Now the Amiro seals around the eyes perfectly. And this means that you can actually keep your eyes open. You can scroll your phone, you can watch TV while you're zapping your face. It fits snug, it feels secure, and it doesn't slide down your nose like those heavy plastic masks of the past. This one really is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most comfortable LED mask that I have. Combine that with being the most powerful home use LED mask that I have. I mean, you're onto a winner. In the words of Death Becomes Her, now a warning, because this is high power, meaning you don't use it like those everyday flimsy flexible LED masks. It's not a toy. I know that I am a more is more kind of guy, but in this case, more is not always more. If you wear this for an hour, you aren't gonna look 10 years younger. You might actually cause temporary inflammation because the protocol is strict. 10 to 30 minutes maximum per day. For most of you, one 10 minute session split into two five minute cycles is plenty. And you only need to do it three to five times a week. I do it three. This is the beauty of high irradiance. You're buying time back instead of sitting there for 20 minutes with a weak mask. You do 10 minutes with this and you get a higher total dose of energy. So let's address the bold claim on the packaging. Visible results in seven days. Now, as an educated consumer, you should always pause when you see instant results regarding skincare. However, in this specific context, the claim has merit, depending on what results you're looking for. If you're looking for collagen remodeling, fixing those deep wrinkles, that is a biological process. It takes 12 weeks and no device on earth can speed that up. Your body has got a speed limit. But if you're looking at inflammation, acne and radiance, yeah, seven days is accurate. Because of the high energy density, the anti-inflammatory response is rapid. If you have post-shave irritation, active redness or a dull complexion, the flood of yellow and red light creates a visible calmness and brightness like super quickly. So manage your expectations. Week one, calmer, brighter, clearer skin. Month three, firmer, denser, structurally improved skin. So let's wrap this up. The Amiro Spectra proves that you don't have to sacrifice power just because you're treating your skin at home. By being transparent about the specs and using that Fresnel lens technology, it solves the biggest issue with home light therapy efficiency. It delivers a clinical dose of energy in a time frame that actually fits into a busy morning. It's precise, it's powerful, and it respects the data. But I wanna hear from you in the comments. What is your stance on LED masks? Do you swear by the glow or are you still skeptical that light can actually change your skin? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to read your take. Thank you so much for joining me today. Stay consistent and I will see you in the next one. So till then, TJ over and out. <laughs>